CEOs. What's up? It's your boy, CEO Hobson. I'm back with another video. And uh, this quote is meant for you. Yeah, you. The only way you are going to have success is to have lots of failures first. I'm going to say it one more time. The only way you are going to have success is to have lots of failures first. And that's by Sergey Brin. So shout out to you, Sergey. Meaning, you have to go through trial and error to then achieve success. Let's try, try, try again. Do not allow your failures to limit you to have you reconsider, to have you question whether you are deserving or not. Instead, treat them like your mini trophies, like the blisters you get around your hand when working out. Meaning, no pain, no gain. You are your only limit. Thus, propel forward. To succeed, understand that each failure has a piece of information that wasn't there before, aka lesson, which you can then apply to whatever it is you are seeking to attain. Do not let your emotions and or thoughts regarding a setback fool you. If anything, you are now one step closer to succeeding after each failure, once acquiring the lesson behind it. Reality is what you do next. And with that being said, basically, let me just say this in closing. Um, like, first of all, they want you to like the moment you encounter your first failure, um, some, like your first mistake, something just doesn't go right right, your way, right, um, or the way that you expected it would be going, right, or would go, right, uh, they want you to just turn around and just quit on yourself, they want you to feel like you just aren't cut out for it, but understand this, like, first of all, you have to persist, you have to keep trying to then get the hang of something, like, especially when you're trying something out initially, chances are you are not going to be the greatest at it like you are great as is but like you can be greater and especially when you're trying to do something for the first time like don't just like be stuck on these expectations like be present with yourself and just you know be part of the process like fall in love with the process like for example i'm gonna give you a really good analogy that i feel like in my eyes is really simple to understand when you when you play basketball right when you shoot the ball initially for the first time when you hit the ball, when you shoot the ball, right? Chances are your shot is not going to go in. Do you quit? Do you turn around? Do you be like, you know what? I'm leaving this gym or this court. I'm just not good at basketball. No, chances are you're going to try to make your first shot and going to keep going until you make it. And when you realize, or like during that process, what you realize first is one, you got to perfect this form now, or you're perfecting your craft, which is that form of making that shot, right? how much power, like the distance. And when it comes down to distance, right, there's different angles, there's different parts of the court. So like, not only do you have to like, you know, like for example, you have you have a free throw line and then you have the three point line. So like, it's just a whole lot. Like there's a lot of steps in terms of making your first shot to then perfecting your form to then being able to hit shots from all around the court, right? So it's just a process. They want you to be like stuck on the feeling that you missed your shot instead of just being like, all right, let me go get that ball and let me keep going until I make my first shot to then make more shots to then get my form down. Like it's a process, right? So for you to succeed, you're going to have lots of failures. That's what I get from this quote. That's what I understand from this quote is like you have to be persistent to then, you know, attain success to succeed so believe in yourself because if not you who then if not you who will all right so that's pretty much it i mean like okay let me just say this too like for example like steph curry is a perfect example or clay thompson you think if they missed their first three-point line you think they they would be the the greatest shooters that they are <laughs> bro like think about it like they kept going you think if Klay Thompson or Steph Curry in the playoffs missed their first three-pointer or any three-pointer, they're just like, you know what? I'm not going to take any more three-pointers because I don't want to miss. No, they keep going because why? They believe in themselves and because they put in that work so they know that they can make the shot, especially when you make your first shot. That's already like, that's already your like a clear indication of like, yo, I can make this shot. Let me keep going. And all you have to do is just perfect your craft. You just have to keep on going. So believe in yourself. All right. Regardless, uh, besides all that, <laughs> uh, rewind if necessary, go back to that quote, um, apply it to yourself. 
try to just define it in your own way and then um apply that to the rest of your day apply it to whatever you do today and i guarantee you'll be a whole lot more successful <laughs> um than to not go ahead and really just go with what sergey had to say or even what i had to say in that sense so with that being said i hope that you have a great sunday and uh yeah, keep your heads up, believe in yourself, don't stop. The moment you encounter a mistake doesn't mean that you're not cut out for it. I love when my phone just cuts out and says I don't got no more space. I swear I cleared my space before I made this video. Like, anyways, you get my point. All right, don't stop. All right, believe in yourself, keep going. Because the moment you make that first shot, the moment you get it right the first time, trust you're going to fall in love with the process of trying to get it right every single time. All right. With that being said, go succeed, all right? Go achieve. It's your boy, CEO. Hobbs, and I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow. I love y'all. Peace.